just like that. And we're gonna open it up. We're gonna get it nice and wide here. Perfect, look at that nice hunk of meat. All right, so now that we've gotten that, we're gonna add one whole bag of carrots to this dish and we're gonna just sprinkle those carrots on both sides of our beef here. And we're gonna spread that out nice and even because you really wanna make sure that everything has a nice chance to cook evenly. So once you've gotten those carrots, come on in with some broccoli. And we're gonna put that broccoli around. If you get a big chunk, then you can kind of break it up. But you're just gonna place that broccoli off to the sides on top of the carrots just like that. I don't know if you've ever cooked for your dogs before, but this is a one pan, easy dish for them that you could easily feed for at least a week. I have four dogs and this lasts me one whole week. So this is a nice fresh way to get the dogs all the nutrients that they need as well as protein and you know exactly where it's coming from. So once you've gotten that broccoli laid in there, what we're gonna grab next is some chicken stock. You can use bone broth, chicken stock, beef broth, whatever kind of broth, and we're gonna just marry all of those veggies in that broth together. You don't have to add so, so much, maybe about two cups for this size of meal. All right. Now we're gonna add some pumpkin. This is great for their digestive system. And you're gonna plop that pumpkin throughout. But this is awesome for upset stomachs to feed them as a treat on their own. Or in this case, if your dog is not used to it, do a 50-50 split with their food until they get used to it. And also include the pumpkin because it is an adjustment, but I can promise you that your dog's health is gonna be so much better when you start cooking for it. We're gonna bring in some celery sticks. My dogs love celery, don't you, Ari? See, she's already trying to eat the, she eats it and he does too. So this is a great thing to add into your dog's food here is celery. It's got tons of nutrients for them as well as a nice crunch. You don't want everything to be so soft because you do want them to work for it with their teeth. Just done. We've got one stinky treat here that my dogs love, and I don't know that I love it so much, but I know it's good for them. So we're gonna open up this case of sardines here, and guys, I know what you're thinking, no way. But this is actually packed full of nutrients for your dogs. It's got great omega-3s, but the one thing you do wanna look out for is it must be in Fresh water, spring water, it must be in water or olive oil only. Do not get them mixed with anything else because it can cause harm to your dogs. So we're gonna place those sardines right down the center of that beef here. Mm -mm -mm. Can't you just wait to dive into this dish? <laughs> all right, make sure all of that oil, olive oil is out because I've got mine in organic olive oil. And we're just going to break up those sardines a little bit more on there. Okay, so that's nice, perfect. That'll get that nice flavors going in the beef. So once we've gotten that, our last little fresh herb here is going to be some parsley out of the garden. And this helps with dog's breath and it helps give it a nice clean and it helps with bacteria. So it's not gonna be your cure-all, but it does help manage with some of the scents and it's good for them. So there's probably a bunch of other nutrients is, but as you know, I'm not a vet or a doc, a dog uh, aficionado. I just know a little bit of, about them from what I cook for mine. Okay. We've got some turmeric and we're just gonna sprinkle that turmeric right on top of all of it. This adds for a great, great additive for their immune system as well as a bunch of other things for their health benefits. I don't know all of them as you I mentioned I'm not a vet but lastly we're going to add a little bit of wild-caught Alaskan salmon oil 
and we're just gonna sprinkle that easily right on top of everything. Again, this is super good. I have a dachshund who got spinal surgery done and his um, neurologist told me that that was the absolute best thing you could feed your dogs because it helps with their joints, their uh, skin, all kinds of stuff. So now that we've got this beauty, we're gonna add some brown rice. Brown rice is good for your dogs because it's got full of fiber. I got this instant rice because it's going to be able to cook in that broth without having to do your traditional cooking of rice. So we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that right on top here. That rice is added. We've got everything that we could possibly imagine in here. I'm gonna pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. We're just looking to brown that meat up and get those vegetables nice and softened and get that rice cooked up and you'll be all set. Look at that. It turned out perfect. So my dog's dinner is ready and we are going to cut it open and give it all a good mix. So we're going to start here by just grabbing some of that beef, excuse me, it's beef on the menu tonight. So we're just going to mix it up. As you can see that beef has cooked so perfectly and I just use both of these to kind of spread it apart. It's easy to grab. Oh yes, this is so good. And the good thing about it is that if you don't feel like cooking, it's like a stew. You can grab some. I know that my fiance does that when I'm not home to cook for him and he's left with the dogs. He goes and grabs himself a little plate, warms it up, and there you go. Mm -mm -mm. All right guys, and there you have it. Just scoop it up to whatever you would like for their serving size and they're ready to eat and you've got it for the entire week.